Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, aka Crystal Maximizer, and I am a strategic money coach. I help women save money and make money so they can be more intentional and make progress on their big financial goals. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a meat stock up haul. It has been months, probably a good four months, since we went to our favorite meat market here in Orlando. It's called Fresh Field Farms, and we did an entire meat stock up. Now, at Fresh Field Farms, they have a meat side, which has all meats and seafoods, and then they have a produce side, which has your fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts. It's a freaking amazing place. It is, you know, a little bit of a drive from where I live in the, you know, Central Florida area, but it's something that we try to do at least every other month, but we were not... <laughs> We didn't do it for lack of better terms. So we needed to do a basic stock up because when I tell you that our fridge, our freezer, our pantry, not for this, but I did do a BJ's video. You can go check that out. But our fridge, our freeze, our pantry, empty. Like we ate down, we got through everything. If it was expired, we threw it out, but we ate down everything. So that way we weren't just going out to shop, right? I always teach my clients don't go to the grocery store just because it's time eat your things down rotate so we did that in true fashion we went down to basically zero and now we have to build ourselves back up which is totally fine so i'm going to show you our haul we did meat and produce so let's go ahead and dig in okay so we got a combination of stuff we need to stock up on and stuff for thanksgiving so i got myself some fresh strawberries we also got these honey can you see it these honey roasted uh, peanuts, which are freaking amazing. Bay loves all the seasonings and the, the, the herbs. So we got rosemary and then he also got thyme. I got this giant bundle. Can you see this? This giant bundle of collard greens, y'all, for $5.49. I got collard greens. I also got us a bundle of kale. This whole bundle of kale was $5 as well. Back there, we got two packs of baby bella mushrooms. The carrots were two for five, so we got two packs of carrots. We got two red onions. We got two garlic garlic bulbs. We got a pack of yellow small potatoes. And then we got a big old pack of corn right here. We also had a bag of onions. I don't know where I put the onions. Oh, you know what? They might be in the fridge. Look, y'all. I left stuff in the bag. We got two <laughs> bags of onions. We got celery. And we got a whole pineapple. I knew I had them. I just had to find them. But we did a lot of shopping. So that's also from Fresh Real Farms. And then if we go over to meat, we got two packs of minute cut pork chops. And you can see, I want y'all to see how cheap it is. For 2.83 pounds, it's $3.58 per pound. And we got each pack for around $10. We got a giant pack of chicken thighs. Sorry for moving around. We got a giant pack of chicken thighs. Look, it was only $3.55. And then we got a big old thing of tender. So I also went to Walmart and I got us some more storage bags. I mean, freezer bags. We got gallon and we got quart size. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I am going to show that in here. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to break this up into meals. I got chicken drumsticks. We got two packs of drumsticks. I want you to see how cheap they were at Fresh Fruit Farms. They are 99 cents a pound. This is 4 point. 4.62 pounds and it's four dollars and 57 cents the other pack down here is four dollars and 39 cents and then i think down here's my chicken leg quarters yes i got chicken leg quarters all right look at this they are 88 cents a pound this was three dollars and 88 cents right this could be one meal for my family for me kinsley bay one entire meal right but like for $3.66. We got big packs of ground beef. So there's three pounds in here. I'm gonna break this up into thirds, right? It was $14, but hey, it breaks up to $4.44 per pound. So we basically have like six pounds of ground beef. Bay wanted to get these um, hamburger patties. I'm also gonna break these up into meals. It's a big old pack for $13. We got a boneless shoulder roast. He got two of those that we can have for meals. He also got a thing of baby back ribs. You can see this is $24. They're $3.99 a pound. We got three packages of this Ecuadorian shrimp. He got his giant tomahawk steak, y'all. This is his favorite steak, as you can see how much it is. This is actually what we're going to have for dinner. I told him I want steak and shrimp for dinner. We bought some salmon. So we got these two packs of salmon. That's each a meal for our family. I got smoked turkey necks for my Thanksgiving. We got old grandpa smoked sausage. He bought two packs of those. They're actually really good. We got a pack of ribeye steaks. 
We got two packs of tilapia. We got two things of filet mignon. Bay loves his steak, y'all. We got Indian sliced bacon. Y'all know I don't like to pay this much for bacon, but Bay wanted it. We got St. Louis ribs over there. I'm trying to see is that everything? Yeah, that that's everything. Oh, the red onion, the garlic. I told y'all everything. So that's everything we got from Fresh Field Farms. And at Fresh Field Farms, we spent around $358. But this it's November right now. This will easily last us through the end of January as far as like meats and meals and stuff besides the stuff for Thanksgiving. But I'm going to break all of this up and I'll add some clips in here so you can see how I break them up into meals. So once I get everything sorted out and corded out, I will come back and show you what that looks like. So basically I just sat here and I labeled the bag. So I put what the item is and I put the date that we put it in the bag. So this was on November 19th. So I put November 19th on every bag. So for the ground beef specifically, um, I broke it up into thirds. So basically we have like a little over a pound in each bag. And I put it inside of a quart size bag. And I did that for all of the meat, all of the chicken, all the beef. I did it for everything that needed to be broken up. Even though I just showed you the ground beef here. Also, if we would not have broken everything down, y'all, it would not have fit into our freezer because those styrofoam things take up so much space. So basically, when you put them in the Ziploc bag to avoid freezer burn, you want to make sure you get all the air out. So I take my time and I really push the air out of all the bags. So now I will show you like the actual freezer where I've stacked up everything and played Jenga so that all of this amazing meat can fit inside of our freezer. We do not have a deep freezer yet. It's on my Christmas list for my personal, uh, what I want for Christmas, a freaking deep freezer. <laughs> um, so that we can do this to another level, stock up at a bigger level. But you can see I labeled the bags and everything. So yeah, that's what I did for all of the meat. It took me probably about like 90 minutes to do everything. But it's so worth it because like I said, it fits everything in the freezer and it doesn't get freezer burnt. All right, maximizers i finished the packing now you can see from the before and after our freezer is pretty much packed i put all the waffles on the door but we got those um the pork the pork necks up there neck bones and then this is all the food i took everything out of its original packaging except for that pack of chicken that was already in there and i bagged it all up so that we could have meals which was super nice so that is how i fit all of that meat that we got into the freezer so let me know if you have any questions about our meat haul let me know how you stock up on your meats down in the comments i want to thank you all so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you stay safe out there as you were shopping and as always please like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video